Hi, my name is Alec Holler. I am the hurdle coach here at Edwardsville High School in Edwardsville, Illinois. I've been a hurdle coach for 15 years and one of the most common questions I get is, how do I three-step and should I be three-stepping? And the answer is always yes. If you're not three-stepping, you should be trying to three-step. So in today's video, we're gonna go over a couple reasons why you may not be three-stepping and a couple things you can do to work towards that three-step. So if a hurdler comes to me struggling to three-step and speed is not an issue, there are a few common mistakes that I typically see that are holding them back. So the first mistake I typically see is in the plant step. If the plant step is out in front, that kills momentum and projects you upward over the hurdle, causing a blow. The further underneath the hips that plant step can be, the more efficient and outward your jumping over the hurdle will be. The next issue I typically see is the landing after the hurdle. It's typically a two-footed landing where the lead foot lands, but the trail leg is not its own step. You need to stick a one-footed landing, I always say, and some people tend to land with their lead leg and then make their trail leg land almost right next to it just to assist in that landing. So what you want to do is stick a one-footed landing and bring your trail leg through as its own running step and cover as much ground as you can in that step without reaching. The other common mistake I typically see is just stride inefficiencies between the hurdle. Now that typically starts from poor form over the hurdle. A lot of times it's bad arm action that can lead to twisting coming off the hurdle that causes you to lose momentum. And another reason why you can lose momentum is knowing that you need to increase your stride length to get to that three step. A lot of times people will reach and plant their foot out in front of them causing them to effectively hit the brakes like you would in a car rather than continue momentum, you're slowing momentum in each step. So to avoid that, you want to try to focus on high knee, but the heel underneath the knee do not reach. Reaching is counterintuitive. You're dying at the end of a race because your strides are inefficient, you're typically chopping or stuttering, losing momentum over the top of the hurdle and having to expend a lot of energy re-accelerating to make it to the next hurdle. Our goal is to maintain momentum through each hurdle by not stuttering, not lengthening, and not having to re-accelerate after each hurdle. So one of my favorite ways to train three-stepping is by discounting. Discounting creates good habits by decreasing the hurdle height and distance. So you're gonna get a proper takeoff, better form over the top of the hurdle and successful stride efficiency between the hurdles and starting at a lower distance and lower height allows you to stabilize those good habits and then slowly but surely you can work your way higher and farther with each hurdle and you'll be three-stepping before you know it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.